Th thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Madden, could you please introduce yourself and your campaign? My name is Liam Madden. I am a Marine Corps veteran who became the leader of America's largest anti-war organization of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. I'm also an entrepreneur who co-won MIT's Solve Award for Sustainability Innovations. And while peace and sustainability are still core values of mine, the main reason I am here tonight is because the two-party system has proven incapable of solving our problems unless we create ways for the people to bypass politicians when they don't listen to us and don't solve our problems effectively. Innovating better collective problem solving is the only way to solve the sustainability crisis. And that is the core message of my campaign and will be my core focus as Vermont's representative. On the issue of climate, I believe I stand apart from the other candidates for a very uh, important couple of reasons. One, I see it in a bigger picture. Climate change is only a small part of a larger sustainability crisis. We fished over 90% of the big fish out of the oceans and we're causing species extinction at thousands of times the historic rate. And we're using our precious materials like fossil fuels at a rate that will deplete them in our lifetimes. And secondly, I focus on the root cause of this crisis. We can't resolve this problem by keeping our civilization's behavior the same and simply switching our energy technology. Our economy is premised on never ending growth and things that don't stop growing don't jive well with sustainability. Do you feel me? And lastly, I have a logical path forward. The only way to shift an economic paradigm short of a catastrophe that would make us is through a government far better equipped to democratically solve enormous and complex problems. So in short, to navigate out of the sustainability crisis, we must that, rebirth the That's your time, Mr. Madden. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gray. Uh, Mr. Madden. I also support, well, you should know this. I am a uh, solar energy professional. So this is a near and dear subject. And I do agree that extending the tax credits is a good idea, but I also think we need to extend them to more low and middle income people because right now they really only apply to people who have pretty large tax appetites. And there's a, a huge portion of the population that just it's inaccessible to. Um, my bigger point that I'd like to make though is that um, the Harvard professor, David Keith did a calculation of how much land it would take for us to meet our needs with solar and wind. And that's something that I don't think is part of the conversation enough. Um, he said it would be 72% of all of America's land would be needed to fully power us with uh, wind farms. And I think 6% by solar panels, which is an unacceptable amount to me. So while I think that solar is an important technology and I fully obviously support it, I think we need to be investing in nuclear technology at a much higher rate. The new technology for nuclear is more safe that's that's your time waste can be uh, recycled mr madden closing statement so what's about to happen is vermont's political establishment is going to try to impress you with their experience and theirs is the experience of being servants to a broken two-party system and i ask would you trust the experience of a doctor who doesn't solve her patient's problems would you trust a doctor who has experience and plenty of it prescribing band-aids for gushing wounds. If you want a Green New Deal at the hands of the Democratic Party, expect, expect to climate change what Obamacare was to health, a disgraceful half measure, or at least a tragically lost opportunity. I ask, do we want their experience or do we need innovation? I have a logical set of policy outlines that can bring democracy into the 21st century. And if you think changing the players is enough, then you have one, two, three good options this election. And if you know in your heart that we must change the rules of the game, then you have one clear choice. Let's rebirth democracy together. Thank you, Mr. Madden. Ms. Gray. Thank you, Sebi. And I just want to take a moment